Well, good morning, everyone. I want to call the meeting of the Drainage District Board of Directors to order. We will start with a roll call to establish quorum. Everardo Villarreal, Precinct 3. Ellie Torres, Precinct 4. Richard Cortez, County Judge. That constitutes a quorum of three. Mr. Sassine, would you please lead us to Certainly will, prayer. Judge. Thank you. Good morning, Judge Commissioners, everyone. Good morning. <clears throat> Let us pray. Father God, we continue to seek your clarity and your peace over all that's occurring in our country today. We know you're with us and for us as we gather to seek your counsel. We continue to pray for the judge and the four commissioners you've appointed to lead this great county of ours. We continue to pray for our mayor, school board members, city of council, police chiefs, district attorney, sheriff, judges, and all who serve local communities. Continue to strengthen with wisdom and grace for the heavy burdens they carry. May they continue to manage their teams and projects with love. Keep their eye, hearts pure and their eyes turned to your face as they work in the best interest of the people they're called to serve. We continue to pray for the first responders and their families, Father God, we lift them up to you. We ask for your grace, love, and wisdom be granted to the doctors and nurses dealing with the ill. And we continue to ask for your hand of peace and comfort over them and their families. We continue to lift up our brother B and all those who are battling cancer, Father God. May a miracle be in store for them, Father God. We pray for healing and that your will will be done in all circumstances. Provide their families with the peace that you can only bring through your son, Jesus. And we continue to praise you for the healing that's come through you. We continue to pray for peace over all the families of those that have lost loved ones. We pray for those souls that have passed. May they be at peace, resting at your side. Father God, may you strength carry them through all, and your grace, love, and mercy be with them. As the day of Thanksgiving approaches, Father God, we thank you for the gift of life and the resources of the world and for human skill and hard work. We thank you for industry, commerce, and administration and its many products that are part of our daily lives. We thank you for our local, state, and federal leaders and for all that work in many different disciplines that help maintain the fabric of our community. We thank you for those who are not employed by an employer but still continue to, to contribute, housewives, retired, the disabled, and children. We thank you for the grace, love, and mercy you show us daily when we stumble and the opportunity you give us to serve our community. For all these and good things, we give thanks, Father God. Scripture reminds us the more we seek you, the more we will find you. May we seek you in everything we do and we always continue to work as working for you. I ask you in Son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Will did anyone sign up for an open forum? Mr. Magnus? There are no participants. Thank you, sir. Then item four is your approval of the consent agenda. Consent agenda, Judge, we have permits and general operation that has been vetted by my staff. Uh, we do recommend approval, sir. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 5A. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> 5A, one, requesting accepts and approval of professional service agreement with LNG Consulting Engineers, Inc. Um, for professional engineering service to Mile 6 Drainage Alpha Project is approved by negotiations on 9-20-22. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item two, approval of working session number one in the amount of 631-469-82 is submitted by LNG Consulting Engineers, Inc. through contract number ca 2261 to provide engineering service to Mile 6 Drainage Alpha Projects. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. Item 5B, request an authority to advertise and approval of procurement packet A, legal notice, specifications, draft contracts, et cetera, for Dow County Nation 1 purchase of 8x8 eight eight stainless steel slide gate RFP number ACDD 1 22056 1207 ESZ, including the advertisement of the project in the event no bids are received, the project is still required. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. Item C, request an approval to reject sole bid received for concrete mix and related items. Through our fee number ACDD 1 1102 AJL, as to attempt to encourage more vendors' participation with your advertising of the project. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. Item 6A, discussion approval by Dow Condition 1, a resolution recognizing the necessity of acquiring easements or right of way or fee title in connection with the construction of the South Lateral Drain 2018 bond project number 34 in Dow County, Texas, and authorizing the acquisition of said easements. Or right away, or fee title described in this resolution it exhibits thereto by condemnation in a domain or otherwise. Single vote shall apply to all units of property described in said resolution. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. If I may, Judge, I'll read items one through five. Please. Yes. Thank you. B1, request and approval right of possession agreement for parcel 10AE10 as it relates to project 10A of the 2018 drainage bond program. East Mercedes and Authority for Drainage District General Manager to execute documents. Item 2, request an approval of right of possession agreement for parcel 10A E14 as it relates to project 10A of the 2018 Drainage Bond Program. East Mercedes and Authorization 
for authority for the drainage district general manager to execute documents. Item three, request and approval right possession agreement for parcel 10A E16 as it relates to project 10A of the 2018 drainage bond program, East Mercedes and authority of the drainage district general manager to execute document. Item four, request and approval right possession agreement for parcel 10A E18 as it relates to the project 10A of the 2018 drainage bond program, East Mercedes and authority for the drainage district general manager to execute documents. And item five, requesting approval of right of possession agreement for parcel 10A E19 as it relates to project 10A of the 2018 drainage bond program, East Mercedes and authority of the drainage district general manager to execute documents. We recommend approval all five. Motion to approve, B12345. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. Item C, accepts and approval work session number 13 in the amount of 29,985 as submitted BDZ Engineering LLC through contract number C to DD 121-0260601 to provide geotechnical field and laboratory service for Southwest 2018 bond referendum project number 35. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. Item E, request and approval change order number one reflected an increase in the amount of 873, 498, and 70 and 120 additional construction calendar days in connection with contract number CACDD 121 11 mile 9 and FM 1015 package, package 1B improvements 2018 bond project number 24 with Morville LLC as recommended project engineer assistant district general manager Yvette Barrera. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item F1, approval application payment number one in the amount of 320954 and 72 from Morewell LLC, pending construction contract. CHDD 122024072J08, drain project engineer, Kinta Haley Associates. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Judge, if I may, I'll read all of them because they're all pretty much payments, sir. Please. Yes, sir. Thank you. Item two, approval application payment number four in the amount of 65414 and 92 from Gonzalez Engineering Protective Construction Contract CACDD 12020 Mission McAllen Radio Alternate. Item three, approval application number, payment number six in the amount of 185121 from Science Brothers Construction Protective Construction Contract CACDD 12020 Mission Lateral. And uh, application, excuse me, approval number four, approval of payment to reimburse it out, County Precinct 3 in the amount of 120147 and 02 for equipment and labor on the Inspiration Road segment for pay periods 3 through 9, 2022. Item 5, approval application payment number 1 in the amount of 44,830 and from RMB Contractors pertaining construction contract CACD 1 220298 South High Road Detention Project. And then item 6, approval application payment number 15 in the amount of 12,106.65 and from Castle Enterprises made payable to Lexon pertaining to construction contract CACD 1 22009070 South Lateral Drain. And item 7 approval application pay payment number 2 in the amount of 149,273 and 32 from RDA Siding Concrete LLC pertaining to construction contract CACD 1 21048 Faysville Drain. Everything's in order. Recommend approval F2 through 7. Uh, motion to approve 6F through uh, 2 through 7. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. Item 7A, approval application payment number 16 in the amount 25,098.98 from Castle Enterprise Pertaining to Construction Contract, CCDD 120 Mission Inlet. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Item 8A, Raymond will drain payment of approval of invoice number 17, 2022 RD in the amount of 24,789.74 from Dagger County Precinct 4 for labor and equipment reimbursement pay period 17 for 2022. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Ya le ganó Precinct 3 en este, en este comienzo. What happened, sir? Reimbursement. Andan jalando, están jalando, están jalando. Buena competencia, buena competencia. Do we need to go to closed session? Uh, we have just one small item, sir. Okay. Then pursuant to subchapter D of, of chapter 551 of the Texas Government Code, we'll be retiring to closed session to discuss items listed in code section 551.072, 0 0.074, 0 0.071. May I have a motion to do so? Motion made. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. I have 939. Okay, we're buying from closed session. It's 10 o'clock. We have one action item to take. One item, 10A, real estate acquisition. Take a motion to authorize staff to proceed with negotiations as discussed in executive session. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 
I have a motion to adjourn. Motion made. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We are adjourned. Thank you, Judge Commissioners. Have a blessed Thanksgiving. Thank, Thank you. 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 You too. I now call the, com the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court meeting to order. We'll start with a roll call to establish quorum. Good morning, David Fuentes, Precinct 1. Eddie Cantu, Precinct 2. Everardo Villarreal, Precinct 3. Ellie Torres, Precinct 4. Richard Cortez, County Judge, that constitutes a quorum. Today, we're honored to have Specialist C4 Corporal Gustavo Barreros that's going to uh, join us and give us the, the, uh, the pledge today. Is, is he here on live or? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, sir, and thank you for your service. He was in the Marine Corps and the U.S. Army. He served from 2001 to 2012. That's a lot of years of service. We thank him for that. We're also very honored to have the Honorable Justice Nona Longoria. She is a justice for the 13th Court of Appeal, place two. Your Honor, can you please lead us in today's prayer? Judge, Commissioners. Dear Lord, we come to you this hour asking you for your blessing and your help as we are gathered here together this morning. We maintain our faith that you will give us the wisdom as policymakers and the patience as neighbors to help our community prevail. We ask for wisdom and patience as we convene today's meeting, knowing that a multitude of challenges await us. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Justice. Thank you. <laughs> Next item is the approval of the consent agenda. Judge Commissioners, with your permission, I'd like to take uh, out of order from consent agenda uh, items 7A, 1, and 2. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Judge Commissioners, for the record, Commissioner Fuentes will be abstaining from any discussion and or action regarding or relating to consent agenda items 7A, 1, and 2. That being said. Motion approved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We're going to go to item uh, 21B. Chavez, we will take open form after this item. Actually, we have procs first. <laughs> Deputy, would you please ask this young man to allow us to conduct our meeting? Good morning, Judge Commissioners Belinda Reyes, Precinct 4, Item 21B, AI88262. Requesting approval of resolution and order to rename a county-owned park known as Memorial Park, a.k.a. Sunflower Park, located within Hidalgo County, Precinct 4, to Alfon Alfonso Flores All-Star Park. If, you, if I may, I'll read the resolution and order pertaining to naming Alfonso Flores All-Star Park. Whereas the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court Precinct 4 approved a multi-year funded parks recreational facility improvements project for the development of Memorial Park for area to increase the quality of public recreation facilities and resources available to the people of Central Hidalgo County 
And whereas Memorial Park is a 36.534 track of land out of blocks 10 and 15, section number 260 out of the Texas Mexican Railway Company subdivision as recorded in volume two, page 29 of the Hidalgo County map records and is within the jurisdiction of Hidalgo County Precinct 4 located at the intersection of State Highway 107 and Sunflower Road. And whereas Commissioner's Court has found a public purpose in providing, operating, and maintaining parks, playgrounds, and recreation for the public health and welfare, and Memorial Park is undergoing significant improvements and adding several amenities for use of the public. And whereas the county wishes to honor all-star citizens who have shown great courage, honor, humility, dedication, and commitment, and who have contributed posit positively to the rural communities of Precinct 4. Whereas the County of Hidalgo wishes to rename this park in honor of a decorated veteran of the United States Armed Forces who served honorably during the Vietnam War and returned home to become a prominent business leader within the community of San Carlos, Texas. And whereas Mr. Alfonso Flores was born on March 2nd, 1946 to Francisco and Teodora Flores and entered eternal rest on February 4th, 2022. Mr. Flores is survived by his wife, Ofelia Flores, his son, Alfonso and Tanya Flores Jr., daughter, Lisa Flores, two granddaughters, Danica and Hannah Flores, as well as numerous siblings, nephews and nieces, and whereas Mr. Alfonso Flores held the rank of Specialist 4, SP4, in the United States Army and was awarded many medals, decorations, and badges, which include the Purple Heart Medal, the Bronze Star Medal, the National Defense Service Medal, Vietnam Campaign Medal with 60 device, Compact infantry, Infantryman's Badge, Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry with Palm Medal, Good Conduct Medal, Vietnam Service Medal with his three bronze stars, Republic of Vietnam Civil Actions Honor Medal, First Class Unit Citation Badge, Expert Qualification Badge with Mortar Bar, Sharpshooter Qualifications Badge with Rifle Bar, Marksman Qualifications Badge with Automatic Rifle Bar, and two Overseas Service Bars. And whereas such, the uh, County of Hidalgo wishes to rename Memorial Park in memory of Mr. Alfonso Flores for his dedicated military and community service and as such qualifies him as an all-star citizen. Now therefore, be resolved that the Commissioner's Court hereby renames the park from Memorial Park to Alf Alfonso Flores All-Star Park to honor his service and preserve his memory. The Commissioner's Court authorizes the county to execute the appropriate documents providing his name change upon approval of substantial completion of this project. Any prior resolution and order of the Commissioner Court in conflict with the provisions obtained in this resolution and order are hereby replaced and revoked. Any, uh, should any part of this resolution order be held invalid for any reason, the remainder shall be not be affected thereby and such remaining portions are hereby declared to be serviceable. This resolution and order shall take effect immediately from and after it is passed and is duly resolved and ordered. Approved this 15th day of November 2022nd. Requesting approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. <laughs> Judge and commissioners, by May, we have the family here, um, and I believe his sister. Yes. His sister. Um, Lillian wanted to say a few words. We want to thank you today because uh, naming the park after my brother has, is a great honor uh, to the family, as you can see how many of us are here. He was one of 16 children to the same mom and dad, and he had a heart of gold. And nobody knows the turmoil he went through when he got those Purple Hearts, what his family had to long suffer because of those Purple Hearts. And I couldn't have thought of anybody better than to name that park after, not because he was my brother, but because he earned it. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts today for naming the park after our brother, Alfonso Flores. Thank you, and God bless you.
Jackie, can you get it? Did we approve 7A, 1, and 2? No, my brother. No filters. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, y
Hospice and palliative care workers are skilled professionals that provide medical, emotional, social, and spiritual care to those with long-term and terminal illnesses. Plus, they provide support to the family members as well. The team includes physicians, PAs, nurse practitioners, nurses, social workers, therapists, and more. It takes compassion and care to be a hospice and palliative care worker as well as patient and endurance as the hours are long and unpredictable. Not only do they provide care for the patients, but also lessen the burden on the families. It takes a very special person to work in hospice and palliative care. Whether you're the one receiving palliative care or have a family member in hospice, let's take some time to honor these members and, and thank you for this time. Thank you. Thank you. No, it's, um, it's a really special type of care that we're privileged to give to our community. And, um, you know, just being able to help the patients and families through this, this crucial part of life, uh, it's, it's just part of, a part of our life, and being able to give it the respect and, and care and compassion that's needed to make it a good part of life, you know, something we're scared of but can be good. Uh, is something that we work to get better at every day and to bring that to our community and and this type of awareness to make people uh, know more about this option that they have uh, uh, if they ever need it. So thank you all for helping us raise awareness in our community. Thank you. Thank you. You want to go to National Injury Prevention Day? You're good. Proclamation declare November 18th as National Injury Prevention Day. Whereas injuries are the leading cause of death and disability among U.S. children ages 1 and 18. Whereas Hidalgo County is committed to contributing to the safety and to the well-being of our children, hospitals, state agencies, and community organizations are committed to their crucial role in reducing injuries and deaths by promoting safe practices. 
whereas National Injury Prevention Day, now in its third year, raises awareness and promotes efforts to reduce injuries among children. Hidalgo County commends all involved in their endeavor to protect children from injury and protecting the public safety in the communities they serve. Whereas these entities include the South Texas Health System, McAllen Trauma Center, and all others involved in their endeavor to protect children from injury. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court declares the 18th of November to be National Injury Prevention Day. Approved this 15th day of November, 2022. Motion approved. Second. We have a motion second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you so much for letting us participate here. And Carlos Palacio, one of the trauma surgeons from McAllen Medical, our new level one trauma center. We're very happy to be here. Injury prevention is something that is deep in, on us, uh, especially gun violence and falling from our elderly uh, people that arrives to our county, especially during the winter. So this proclamation really helped us. I wish we could have the all the county buildings on green that day, because that <laughs> is what uh, this day is about. And uh, hopefully we can bring good things to our county. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Proclamation declaring November as Epilepsy Awareness Month, whereas epilepsy awareness is a nationwide effort backed by the Epilepsy Foundation in order to raise awareness about changing the conversation around epilepsy, seizures, and side effects, as well as to improve and save lives through care, advocacy, research, new therapies, and education. Whereas epilepsy is a brain disorder characterized by recurrent and unprovoked seizures that can affect anyone at any age and at any time. Whereas it is recognized as the fourth most common neuro neurological disorder affecting approximately 710,000 Hispanics in the United States. There are an estimated 15,667 people in Hidalgo County actively living with epilepsy. And whereas it is an estimated that 5,200 senior citizens in Hidalgo County have epilepsy, and, people with, and whereas people with epilepsy need access to affordable, comprehensive, physician-directed, and person-centered health care, and whereas with increased public knowledge about epilepsy and how to respond to seizures, we can help change how people think and perceive epilepsy. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court hereby proclaims the month of November as Epilepsy Awareness Month. Approved this 15th day of November, 2022. Motion approved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. <laughs> Nathaniel's very excited. <laughs> Good morning, commissioners. Thank you so much for having us. Usually I have my 17-year-old daughter with me, but I'm very happy to tell you that she's at school today. And that's extraordinary because just under a year ago, we lost total control. She broke through all of her medication. And the day after Christmas, we ended up driving to Houston and were impatient for a week. It's also extraordinary because we came out of that stay with wonderful news. We had believed that since her last go at resection in 2016, we were out of medicine. We were out of science and out of data, and that surgery was no longer an option. But during this inpatient stay, 
we were told that scientific advances had been made and she is now another candidate. And she's just had two of the series of three and we'll be wrapping up with a laser ablation at the end of this month. I'm telling you this because just in 2016, we had run out of medicine. There was nothing that could be done for her. And now here we are taking this next giant leap. And so it's critical that the Rio Grande Valley not only catch up but keep up with the treatment of epilepsy. And I'm very encouraged by what DHR is doing and they are trying to um, get to an, a level three epilepsy center. But most of our kids who are intractable are still having to go to Houston, San Antonio, Corpus in order to get level four care. So we simply ask that at any opportunity you have to support our medical communities in building neurology programs that specifically address epilepsy, you do so. And now, my buddy Nathaniel has been so patient and he has something to say to you. Hello, my name is Nathaniel Stop Seizures. <laughs> Hello, my name is Nathaniel Stop Seizures. Oh. Myself. Oh. Tell him thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nathaniel Stop Seizures. Myself. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. So Nathaniel communicates using this iPad. And his mom, Pam, has been absolutely integral in making that happen. She is a warrior mama and has made sure that he has a voice for himself. So, you want to say anything? Thank you very much for supporting the epilepsy community. Um, I never asked to join this community. Uh, fortunately, when Nathaniel was diagnosed at 15 months, I had nowhere to turn to. And it has been a long journey. It will be a forever lifetime journey. But I'm so glad to have found the RGV Epilepsy Support Group, uh, full of many parents, full of many people who have traveled this journey, who will continue, and who will offer me resources, advice, and just support. So like April said, if you ever have the opportunity to support the medical community to bring down a level four, level five hospital of epilepsy. We totally appreciate it. You don't understand how many times we have had to make the sacrifice to travel out of town to get the quality of care that we need. Um, it is a difficult journey. I do not wish epilepsy on anybody, but we're okay. And Nathaniel has come a long way. His seizures, thank God, right now are controlled. He's had two brain surgeries and he's on medication, and we don't know how the future looks like, but for right now, Nathaniel has made so much progress, more than it was ever expected, more than ever expected. Thank you so much. Thank you. the judge's computer. <laughs> <laughs> There's no YouTube there. Sit down right here, please. Sit down right here. Here, um, here and over there. 
There's no YouTube in that computer. He got a little closer. It's okay. He'll be fine. Okay, smile, Nathaniel. Judge, go. Okay, look. Nathaniel. Look at the camera, please. Over here. He's like, which one? <laughs> We're gonna, I'm going to get some shots over here, too. It's no. okay. There's no YouTube yeah. here. No YouTube. Sit, sit down real quick, sit down real quick, so you can Whoa. boss everybody around. Okay. There you go. Uh, that's great. Uh, that's great. Yay! Okay. Thank you. Can I give him a high five? All right. Okay, Judge. Please. Item, item 5D, if, 5D, if I may, may proceed, is proclamation declaring November 16th, 2022 as 211 Texas Program Celebration Information and Referral National Day. Uh, Judge, as, as you well know, and commissioners, as you well know, Hidalgo County is privileged to have a 211 system. Uh, that's an information and referral system for social services. People can pick up their phone, dial 211, get an operator in English or Spanish, and ask questions about the social services that are available to them in the community. It's probably the best kept secret in the entire county. And one of the things that, uh, that we found out uh, working through the Prosperity Task Force that Mr. Reina is, is gonna talk about in just a little bit, Judge, it's your initiative that has, has, has started this conversation about how do we help people in poverty escape poverty? And the number one thing is to get information in front of them so that they can access the, the wonderful services that are here in the county. So I'm going to invite Mr. Reyna to come up and speak just briefly about, about 211 and about the Prosperity Task Force. Well, good morning, and thank you for allowing us to be here. You know, I, I arrived um, here in uh, the Valley back in 1996 after a 20-year Air Force career. And when I arrived, um, the unemployment rates in Hidalgo County were about 23 24%. Now they're about 7.8%, 7.7. So there's been some uh, prosperity. So thanks uh, to the judge's initiative, we have started, or he started a process way back in March of 2020 that something more uh, had to be done because the uh, situation here in Hidalgo County is what we would consider dire, okay? When you have, uh, at least 40% of our citizens in poverty, that is not a good situation at all. So the, uh, so the uh, Prosperity Task Force main objective is to get people into prosperity. So groups were created uh, to look at the, some of the items that uh, need to be addressed. For example, housing, food insecurity, uh, transportation, counseling, mentoring, uh, workforce development, economic development, uh, higher learning, and then there's also obviously a, an administrative uh, group. Uh, so in the uh, discussions uh, with all the groups that we're having, uh, the uh, services to residents group, they kept saying 211 is the answer. Uh, so I, I look at myself, uh, you know, I was educated by the finest organization in the world, uh, the United States Air Force, and, uh, and I was the dean at STC for business and technology, and I had no idea what 211 is. So I said, well, if you think 211 is, is uh, an answer, uh, then we need to make 211 equivalent to 911. You know, any kid out there knows if there's 
a situation going on, they call 911. But how many of us think of 211 that way? Uh, and I, I, I guarantee you that, that we don't. So this is, uh, I'm glad uh, that, that there's this proclamation uh, being talked about, but there is more to be done. So the Prosperity Task Force, each group, what they're doing is they're taking inventory of everything that we have here in the county, and we're find, uh, finding where there might be some gaps. And uh, so this is one initiative, one item, uh, that we're going to push forward, and uh, this is just the beginning. There's more that needs to be done with 211, and, and I thank you uh, for allowing us to be here this morning. Thank you. <laughs> Judge, today we, we do have Delia Duarte with the 211 system uh, representing uh, Abby Torre, and, and Abby does send her, her regrets for not being able to be with us today, but really 211 is exactly what, what Mr. Reyna talked about. It's a, it's a clearinghouse of information where nonprofits, community-based organizations can actually fill out a form about the services that they offer. It's kept on a database system, and people call 211. People can access it online. I'm not sure if Jackie is able to pull up the website that we provided earlier, but there's a website where you go to 211. There it is. And you type in your zip code, and you click on what particular item you're needing, housing assistance, uh, utility assistance, I'm partial to utility assistance, of course, but all kinds of other types of services, and it'll pull up a really a menu of different services that are available right there within that zip code. So you can either do it by phone or you can do it online. It's English or Spanish, and, and really the, the one thing that has held the 211 system back, I believe, is just lack of knowledge that that system is out there. So with this proclamation today, it represented with folks you know, from, from the Urban County Program, representing uh, the Food Bank, really all of the community-based organizations that serve uh, Hidalgo County, we're urging those organizations to get on to the 211 system so that they can have their organizations listed. And then secondarily, we also want residents in the county to understand, as Mario said, that 211 is as vital as 911. So we, through this proclamation, we're asking uh, the entire county supporting we do this. And uh, with your permission, sir, I'd like to read the proclamation. Please. So it's, whereas 211, the Texas Community Council of the Rio Grande Valley, has made essential contributions to individuals and families across the nation by providing information and referrals in their communities, and whereas 211, the Texas Community Council of the Rio Grande Valley, educates and encourages callers to dial the three-digit number as an essential aspect of enabling and enhancing their education, health and quality of life, and whereas 211 Texas slash the Community Council of the Rio Grande Valley promotes community-wide information and referrals throughout our cities, suburbs, colonias, rural areas, and whereas 211 Texas Community Council of the Rio Grande Valley is celebrating 25 years of information and referrals, advocacy, follow-ups, and providing proven results for Americans, now therefore be it resolved, be it proclaimed, excuse me, that the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court does hereby proclaim the month of November 16, 2022 as 211 Texas Community Council of the Rio Grande Valley Information and Referral Day in recognition of their hard work and dedication of all area information centers. Approved the 16th day of November, 2022. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries and thank you for everything <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Good. Just very quickly, I wanted to point out that 211 in, in, in the Rio Grande Valley was started by the United Way of South Texas. Uh, Lily, Lily Kilalea Lopez could not be with us today, but certainly wanted to express her, her good wishes on the anniversary. But it was started as a, as really as a project of, uh, of the United Way of South Texas. So we're very grateful for United Way and, and their, their uh, leadership in all of this. Judge, with your permission, may I proceed with my agenda item so that I may be dismissed, sir? Well, we have open forum. If you can wait yes, until sir. after open forum, we'll be happy to accommodate That's you. That's right. Thank you. Next item is open forum. Yes, sir. Thank you, Judge. Uh, before we start open forum, I'd like to remind the public that they're always welcome to participate in public forum. They need to be familiar with the rules of decorum, which prohibits direct and indirect personal attacks on members of the court or any county individuals. The comments made should also pertain to county business and cannot be threatening in nature. Me Mr. Gustaría, Magnus. Sorry. I'm sorry. Do I translate that? Yes, please. Me gustaría recordarle al público que siempre son bienvenidos a participar en el foro abierto. Tienen que estar familiarizados con las reglas de decoro que prohíben ataques directos o indirectos a los miembros de la corte o cualquier otro individuo del condado. Los comentarios deben pertenecer a los asuntos del condado y no pueden tener amenazas de cualquier naturaleza. Thank you. Mr. Magnus. Mr. Magnus? Yes, first up we have Luca Chavez. Mr. Chavez, uh, please be advised there is a three minute time limit. I will advise you when there is one minute and I will start when you start, sir. Uh, thank you, my name is Lupe Chavez, or Lupi, as I'm familiar to some people here that pretend not to know me. Uh, I am a 9-11 survivor and a proud son of a World War II veteran. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the county court just approved renaming a memorial park which is a memorial to all the veterans, to one person. I don't think my father or veterans would approve of that. Uh, secondly, uh, I'm here because of uh, these items on domestic violence. I had a friend uh, in FAR, San Juan Alamo. Her name is Melinda Garza. May she rest in peace. Now, I I've been harassed politically by the establishment, and I was convicted of a crime a uh, nonviolent crime for evading arrest in a vehicle because FAR PD was harassing me while somebody was a commissioner here and their brother was a, uh, you know, a lot of school board people. So at any rate, I had to go to every probation meeting. I had to pay every fine. It was even to the point where I had fallen behind and my family was celebrating my son's birthday party at Peter Piper and who should be there but my probation officer looking at me spending money on a party for my son and giving me the eyes like, oh, okay, next time you come, you better pay your fine. But my friend Melinda Garza was dating a man by the name of Matt Garza, and he has a long criminal history, and part of that history was domestic violence, and he never went to his meetings. He never paid his fines, and because of that, he was free to murder my friend Melinda Garza. And she's not the only friend of mine that has been murdered by domestic violence. Now, additionally, I heard all these wonderful comments about hospice care, and I'm sorry, Mr. Torres, uh, to hear about your family suffering, but there's a World War II family, uh, the Nell family, and they suffered because of the Palacios family and Comfort House, and Ms. Patterson uh, uh, and her accomplices were able to smother him to death and if I'm not mistaken, I don't see her anymore, but one of the uh, 13th Court of Appeals uh, uh, judges and uh, a county judge intervened uh, on the criminal matter in involving funds. Now, I know we all talked about this red wave. I'm never good about mixing primary colors, but if you mix red and blue, you know what you get? You get elected officials from Hidalgo County who are really Democrats in name only. Thank you for your time. Thank you, sir. Mr. Magnus? Next up, we have Ms. Fern McClurdy. Ms. McClurdy? Ms. Fern, there is a three minute time limit. I will advise when there is one minute, and I will start when you start. Commissioner, I'm sorry about your mom. I know what it feels like, and it's very painful. Uh, Commissioner, Commissioners, I am sure that when each of you decided to run for office, it was with the intent of improving the lives of the people and family here in Hidalgo County. Judge, I remember meeting with you and finding out that addressing poverty was your primary objective. Soon thereafter, uh, soon thereafter you wrote an article in the Monitor 
in indicating the improvement of the conditions of poverty was central to the future of this county. Each of you had similar aspirations. So what happened to those people? What could it be that got that you forgot after you were elected? Because at each meeting, it's a constant spin, spin, spin. The fact I heard today also, and I'm always stating it, 40% of the population that live here in Hidalgo County are in poverty. And that uh, doesn't seem to be as important as when your elections, when you first came to office. And so how is spending $428 million in bonds for buildings, and how is that going to improve the lives of Hidalgo County families? The lines are still long at most of the buildings if you want to go pay your taxes or get your car tags. Uh, these expenditures will only increase the debt, which will increase the poverty. The level of poverty will increase as long as the county commissioners you keep spending. I know it's so easy, uh, another million here, a couple of million there. How is spending millions to take over private businesses going to improve the economy? Taking over private businesses that pay taxes then requiring a population that lives in poverty to pay more to support this is ridiculous. It's easy for y'all. Y'all make over $100,000 or whatever, but the majority of that 40% does not. If this were your money, would you do it and spend it the same way? The answer is no, you would not. So why are you doing it? Again, the people that I talk about and see and get phone calls are the ones that can't afford this. They can't afford another $10, another $30, or whatever you're going to charge for different things uh, for them. So think about this when y'all are signing and making your motions and seconding it and voting on it. It's the poor people that we, we, we need to help. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. Magnus? There are no Thank you, sir. Okay, let's accommodate Mr. Mr. Longoria. We'll move to item 6A. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Commissioners, for the courtesy. Um, item number, um, just a second, I get there. Item number 16A is requesting approval to accept the donation of $1,000 from South Texas Region Prominence Health Plan uh, to sponsor the AmeriCorps Senior Program for the best uh, booth at the Under the Big Top uh, Healthy Aging Senior Summit. Basically, Judge and Commissioners, uh, we attended a senior summit and our agency won the best decorated booth and we won $1,000 and we'd like to, to use that money and put it into the general fund to assist uh, seniors in our community. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank, Thank you, you very Judge. Much, Thank Mr. you, Commissioner. Thank you. We go back to item 7A, District Attorney's Office. Good morning, Commissioners. Judge Cortez, Rosalinda Cantu presenting for the District Attorney's Office. Item 7A, uh, Victim Assistance Program Grant Fund 1281. We're asking for approval to for the fiscal year 2021 Victim Assistance Program Grant number 2924305. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 7B, the DA Victim Assistance Program Grant Fund 1281. We're asking for approval of number one and number two, approval to accept the fiscal year 2021 Victim Assistance Program Grant Award in the amount of $1,199.90, sorry, $1,199.96.82 from the Office of the Governor for the period of October 1st, 2022 through September 30th, 2023, with authority for county judge as authorized official to accept award electronically. We're also asking for approval of the certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor for the fiscal year 2021 Victim Assistance Program Grant Award in the amount of $1,199.96 and 82 cents and the appropriation of the same. This grant has no cash match. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 7C, uh, we're asking, uh, sorry, 7C DA Domestic Violence Specialty Prosecutor Grant Fund 1281, asking for approval of number one and number two. Approval to accept the Domestic Violence Specialty Prosecutor Grant Award from the Office of the Governor 
in the amount of $69,505.10 for the period of September 1st, 2022 uh, through August 31st, 2023. And we're as also asking for approval of the certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor for the fiscal year 2022 Hidalgo County Domestic Violence Specialty Prosecutor Grant Award and the appropriation of the same. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 7D, the DA Domestic Violence Unit Grant Fund 1281. We're asking for approval of number one and number two. Approval to accept the grant award. Uh, fiscal year 2021 domestic violence unit grant in the amount of $82,795.41 from the Office of the Governor Justice Division for the period of October 1st, 2022 through September 30th, 2023, with authority for county judges authorized official to accept the award electronically. We're also asking for the approval of the certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor for the fiscal year 2021 domestic violence unit grant in the amount of $82,795.41 and appropriation of the same. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. May I proceed to item 8A, Haida? Yes, ma'am. Item 8A, Haida Justice Fund 1256. We're asking for approval of the 2022 appropriation of funds into the Haida Justice Fund from the unassigned fund balance in the amount of $80,000. Motion approved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 8B, the Haida Treasury Fund 1252, approval of 2022 appropriation of funds into the Haida Treasury Fund from the unassigned fund balance in the amount of $50,000. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 7C, we're asking for approval of number one and number two, and this is on the Haida Organized Drug Enforcement Task Force Fund 1291. Approval of the fiscal year 2023 Organized Crime Drug Enforcement Task Forces OCDEV agreement between the Hidalgo County DA Haida Task Force and the Drug Enforcement Administration, McAllen District Office, Houston Division Office, OCDEV Strike Force Group D, uh, D81. We're also asking for approval of certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor for the OCDEF grant award in the amount of $10,800 and appropriation of the same. A motion to approve AC1 and 2. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sheriff's Office number 9A. Good morning, Judge and Commissioners. Captain David Friedland presenting for Sheriff J.E. Eddie Guerra. Agenda item 9A, uh, it's the Sheriff's Office Lennox MOU. We're requesting authorization and approval for Sheriff J.E. Eddie Guerra to sign required documents on the Linux GC MOU with U.S. Naval Criminal Investigative Services. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 9B, uh, Sheriff's Office uh, Secret Service 1284 in four parts. Uh, part one, requesting approval to accept overtime agreement funding from the U.S. Department of uh, Secret Services fiscal year 2023 for the dates of uh, November 15, 2022 through September 30th, 2023 and the amount of $15,000 per officer. Part two, requesting authorization for Hidalgo County Sheriff to sign MOU and all related documents. Part three, requesting authorization to pay overtime reimbursable under the grant terms and conditions. And part four, requesting approval of certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor for fiscal year 2023 Secret Service Overtime Agreement in the amount of $15,000 $15, and appropriation of the same. Motion to approve 9B124. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Agenda item 9C, uh, the Sheriff's Office Fiscal Year 21 General Victim Assistant Grant or VOCA, uh, 1284, in three parts. Part one, we're requesting authorization and approval to accept General Victim Assistant Grant, VOCA, uh, grant number 4218502, and the amount of uh, $54,525.08, effective uh, October 1st, 2022 through September 30th, 2023. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Yep. 
part two, authorization for county judges, authorized official to electronically sign grant award form and related documents. And part three, approval of certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor for general victim assistant grant and appropriation of the same. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, agenda item 9D, uh, Sheriff J. Leo, DEA, OCDF 1284, and two parts, requesting approval of organize, uh, organized crime drug enforcement task forces agreement in fiscal year 2023 between the Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office and the Drug Enforcement Administration, McAllen District Office, OCDF Strike Force Group D81 Heavy Trucking. Part two, requesting approval of certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor for the OCDF fiscal year 2023 grant agreement award in the amount of $10,800 as a reference uh, to investigative number SW-TXS-1278 and appropriation is same. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 9E, the State uh, criminal, uh, criminal Alien Assistance Program grant 1284, uh, requesting approval of certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor for the fiscal year 2020 SCAP grant in the amount of $749,630 and appropriation of the same. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And agenda item 9F, uh, pursuant to Texas Local Government Code Section 157.903, we're requesting approval of indemnification in the amount of $47.94 due to clerical error involving inmate funds. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank, Thank you, you for sir. Your time. Item 10A, Constable. Precinct 3. Larry, are you on? You want to take that, Commissioner? Uh, 10A, approval of addendum and supplemental documents to the state plan of operations for changes in the Texas uh, LISO program with authority for the county judge Cortez and Constable Larry, Lazaro Larry Gallardo Jr. to sign documents. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 11A, Constable Precinct 4. You want to take that, Commissioner Cotter? Yes. Uh, approval of addendum and supplemental documents to the state plan of operation for changes in the Texas LESO program with authority for County Judge Richard Cortez and Constable Antancio Gaitan to sign documents. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Erica. Human Good resources. morning, Judge Commissioner Erika Reina for the Department of Human Resources. Item 12A, I'm requesting a waiver of the following if applicable for the personnel items listed. I need action on item number three, the budget amendment policy, personnel related amendments. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 12B is approval of the appointment of interns from the Rio Grande Valley College to participate in the WIC Health Clinics from November 21st, 2022 through January the 3rd, 2023. I do recommend approval. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 12C is approval to waive the 2023 contribution or donation of the sick leave hours to the sick leave pool for currently enrolled participants due to the current level of sick leave pool hours. Employees not currently enrolled and who wish to enroll must contribute sick leave hours as per the sick leave policy. Uh, Judge Commissioners, this is the same process we've had in the past years due to the extremely healthy balance that we have in our sick leave pool, and I do recommend approval of this item. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 12D for indigent defense, approval of the following action effective next full pay period, November 21st, 2022. And for calendar year 2023, this is to change from temporary full-time to regular full-time positions, slots T010 and T011 to slots 0012 and 0013, eligibility specialist once at a grade six. This is due to new additional permanent duties at, uh, based on our job audit will not be uh, going away from the department. Item 12D2 is approval to waive the posting and hiring and enrollment procedures 
and transfer employee number 220051 to the eligibility specialist one slot number 070-001-0012 and item three is approval to revise the classified position inventory list to add the new position of eligibility specialist one at a grade six i do recommend approval motion to approve second all in favor say aye aye, aye. motion carries Item 12B for the District Attorney's Office from the Criminal Justice Division grant. Approve the following actions effective upon Commissioner's Court approval and for calendar year 2023. The action is to create slot 0012 and 0013. It's an advocate for the District Attorney's Office at a grade eight and a legal assistant one at a grade six. These positions will assist with domestic violence cases and will be fully funded by the grant. I do recommend approval. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Item 12F for precinct four, approval of the following actions effective upon commissioner's court approval and for calendar year 2023, not to exceed November 15, 2023. The action is to add supplemental allowance to slot 0005, a coordinator two of special projects, grade 11 in the amount of $8,000 and to slot 0020, a supervisor three of construction Grade 13 in the amount of $5,000. Judge Commissioners, this is due to additional temporary duties that this employees will be undertaking, and I do recommend approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 12G for the public defender from their mental health grant. Approve it to award a discretionary step to the employee listed below in accordance with HR criteria certification as per section 8.03 of the classification and compensation plan. Effective upon commissioner's court approval and for calendar year 2023, I'm requesting a discretionary step four for slot 0001, a public defender three, grade 17. And again, this will be funded from their mental health grant. I do recommend approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 12H for the criminal district attorney's office, approve it award a discretionary step for the employee listed below. In accordance with HR criteria certification as per section 8.03 of the classification and compensation plan effective upon commissioner's court approval and for calendar year 2023, this is a discretionary step four for slot 0196 assistant district attorney three at a grade 17. 17, I do recommend approval. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And item 12I, hurricane preparedness, approval to extend the following temporary positions beginning December 1st, 2022 to December 31st, 2022. This is for slots T001, truck driver one, grade four, and T006 through T008, maintenance one, at a grade three. This is to allow these employees to finalize the work they started earlier in the year. Uh, we're extending them only through the end of this year. I do recommend approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Erica. Thank you. Uh, item 13A, Urban County, Mr. Avila. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. For item 13A, subject to compliance with House Bill 1295, the Urban County Program is requesting approval to purchase park equipment from Library Interiors of Texas, LLC, for the City of Mercedes, other public services, improvements in the amount of $10,048.27 UCP fiscal years 2021 for the city of Mercedes public services improvement funds will be utilized. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. For item 13B, subject to compliance with House Bill 1295, the Urban County Program is requesting approval to purchase equipment from DACO Fire Equipment Inc for the City of Mercedes Fire Department in the amount of $20,023, utilizing UCP fiscal year 2022, and the City of Mercedes Fire Station equipment funds will be utilized. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. For item 13C, subject to compliance with the House Bill 1295, the Urban County Program is requesting approval to purchase park equipment from Park Place Recreation Designs Inc. for the City of Mercedes Park Facilities uh, Improvements Project in the amount of $33,600.95 UCP fiscal years 2021 City of Mercedes Park Recreational Facilities Improvement funds will be utilized. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 
and for item 13 D subject to compliance with House Bill 1295 Derby County program is requesting approval to purchase furniture library furniture from Brodart company for the city of Granjeno's public facility in the amount of $20,465 and six cents uh, utilizing the Irving County fiscal year 2020-19, I mean 2019 City of Gran Geno public facilities. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. And for item 13E, subject to compliance with House Bill 1295, when and if applicable, the Irving County program is requesting the award of bids uh, and the approval of contracts with A1 insulation for the demolition and reconstruction of the following. Three units in the countywide area and one unit in the city of Mexico in the total contract amount of 497,000 to A1 insulation. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Commissioners. Mr. Levadas, Health and Human Services Department. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. Eddie Olivares, Hidalgo County Health and Human Services. I have a couple of items today. Uh, 14A is requesting approval of certification of revenue by county auditor in the amount of $10,000 and appropriate the same. The additional amount is for the program income earned by the immunization program to date above what has been projected. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Item B is indigent health care program is discussion and consideration of approval to draw down funds for the additional comprehensive hospital increase reimbursement program or CHIRP payment year to IGT intergovernmental transfer in the amount to be determined by the Health and Human Services Commission instructions from the local provider participation fund with a transfer date of November 17th 2022 and a settlement date of November 18th. The amount is 34 million $569,643.93. That's $34,569,643.93. And there is an adequate appropriations within the LPPF funds, sir. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B is approval of certification of revenue is certified by the county auditor from the local participation provider fund in the amount to be determined by Health and Human Services Commission, which is the amount stated earlier, sir. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item C is approval of appropriation of funds for the local provider participation fund in the amount to be determined by Health and Human Services Commission, which I stated was $34,569,643.93, sir. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you. Have a good day. Item 15A, Fire Marshals, Mr. Garza, or Marshal. Good morning, uh, Judge Commissioners. Uh, item 15A, pursuant to local government code 157.903, requesting approval of indemnification in the amount of 148.05 cents on March 25th, 2022, unaccounted fees for receipt number 27930. Also for the record, if you can just scratch out uh, 200, uh, that's on the uh, agenda item. And that's uh, coming from the auditor's office. It was just a, a mistake on, uh, on the way they worded it. So judge commissioners, if I may, with respect to the request for the indemnification um, the fees that were assessed or charged for the permit was the wrong fee. There was an attempt by the fire marshal's office on numerous uh, or, or, or numerous tries to contact the individual in question to rectify the situation uh, to no avail. So at this point, uh, that's the request uh, for the 148.05 uh, unaccounted fees. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Item 17, Planning Department, Mr. Arredondo. Judge and Commissioner Jorge Garcia presenting for the Planning Department. I would like to present item 1A and 1B uh, individually and items 3A through 3G collectively, if okay with the board. 
Go ahead. Item 1A, final approval with the financial guarantee, San Martin number eight, subdivision in precinct one, uh, 49 lot subdivision in flood zone X. Drainage will be provided by storm sewer system and detention will be provided by widening of the existing drain ditch. Subdivision lies in the city of Donna, ETJ. Water will be provided by North Alamo Water Supply Corporation. Floor will be uh, septic tanks and the final approval of the cash deposit in the amount of $73,500 for 49 septic tank systems. Motion to approve. Second. Before I call for the question, how do you determine the number of street lines in the subdivision? I noticed that there's different percentages when you when you take a percentage of street lines to actual lots. Uh, that, that's by the electrical company. The engineer submits a, a plan to AEP Magic Valley, and it's based on their review. But uh, I'm sorry, I don't know what else to besides uh, the, the electrical company is the one reviewing and approving that. That's the answer. Hmm? That's the answer. It's, it's up to the electric, the like the Magic Valleys and the AEPs. Okay. Correct. Right. We have a motion and a second to approve. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carried. Item 1B, La pa Pamorana subdivision, precinct four. It's a two lot subdivision, flood zone X. Drainage will be provided by natural percolation and surface runoff with draining to Rogers Road side ditch. Uh, subdivision lies in the city of Edinburgh, ETJ. Water will be provided by Sherryland Water Supply Corporation, sewer by septic tanks, and the final approval with the cash deposit in the amount of $3,000 for two septic tank systems. Motion approved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. It's 3A through 3G, final of uh, 3A, Las Comares, number nine subdivision in precinct three. 3B, Buena Suerte, one subdivision in precinct three. Adam 3C, La Marquesa, estate subdivision precinct four. 3D, San Pedro, estate subdivision precinct one. 3E, replat of lot two, Los Caminos subdivision, precinct four. 3F, Cadena Estate subdivision, precinct three. And 3G, Ranchito, Cortina subdivision, precinct one. All these are for final approval and we're recommending the uh, uh, approval. Motion to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Item 18A. Uh, 18A, requesting approval to accept the counter offer to purchase a tract of land known as parcel number 15 associated with the Mile 6 West Road Improvement Project with authority for the county judge to sign the administration evaluation and approval form. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 19, uh, requesting approval to accept counter offer to purchase a tract of land known as Parcel 16 associated with Precinct 2 Nolana Loop Road Project from FM 1426 to FM 907 with authority for the county judge to sign the administrative evaluation and approval for motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 19B, requesting approval to accept a revised counter offer to purchase a tract of land known as Parcel 11 associated with the Precinct 2 Nolana Loop Road Project from FM 1426 to FM 907 with authority for the county judge to sign the administrative evaluation and approval form. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 28, Commissioner Radial. Consideration and approval of a 45-day advance landowner notification letter of maintenance and authorize the county judge to sign any and all documents associated with a notification letter. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Commissioner Torres, item 21A. Belinda Reyes with Precinct 4, item 21A, requesting approval to submit an application for the FEMA Building Resilient Trans uh, Infrastructure and Communities, BRIC, 2002 grant program and approval for Hidalgo County Judge Richard Cortez to execute application and any subsequent forms, including but not limited to SF-424. Requesting approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. A two, discussion consideration possible action regarding Hidalgo County, Texas to submit a request for non-financial direct technical assistance for the FEMA Building Res Resilient Infrastructure and Communities BRIC program and authorization for Commissioner Eli Torres to execute and submit same. Motion to approve. Second. 
All in favor motion. say aye. Motion to approve. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was going to say Requesting approval. <laughs> We're in a hurry. Do we have a motion and a second to approve? All, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. My apologies. Good luck to you guys. <laughs> Item 21C, uh, Precinct 4 is requesting approval to accept counter offer to purchase a tract of land known as Parcel 3 associated with the Russell Road Improvement Project, Ruth Road to Monmac Road, with authority for county judge to sign the administration evaluation and approval form. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 21D, requesting approval to name a county road running along and between lot 5, block 12, and lot 2, block 27, through lot 16, block 13, and lot 1, block 26, within the Missouri, Texas Land and Irrigation Subdivision as Hargill Lake Road. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you very much. Budget and management. Uh, good morning, uh, Judge and Commissioners. Uh, 22A, discussion, consideration, and action on amendment to lease agreement between Hidalgo County and CSCD Adult Probation for the Substance Abuse Treatment Facility Building, contract number C13-31409-11 for years 2019 to 2023. Motion. Motion. Second. Sorry. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. Um, under the American Rescue Plan Act, B1, discussion and cons consideration approval to amend the expenditure category for ARPA 21-110-022 RGB foot bag contribution. We're moving the eligibility category from 2.34 to 2.1, which reads household assistance food program. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. I want to congratulate all the precincts for the great work that you did in distributing all this, this food. It was a great, great effort. Item 1B, discussion, consideration, and approval to amend the interlocal agreement between the Hidalgo County and the Food Bank of Art of the RGB previously approved on 11-30-2021, Commissioner's Court Agenda Item 83519, with the authority for the county judge as authorized official to sign the interlocal agreement. We're basically changing it from a sub-recipient to a beneficiary. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B2, discussion, consideration, and approval to amend the interlocal agreed cooperation agreement between Hidalgo County and South Texas College, approved on 9-6-2022. Commissioner's Court Agenda Item 87301 with the authority of the, for the county judge as authorized official to sign the interlocal cooperation agreement. This agreement be basically spells out that before we give any other investment, they have to substantiate the expenditures on the on the previous uh, advancement. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Mr. Roman. Mr. Roman. Yes, sir. Judge Commissioners, we do have a public participation form on item 22B3 from Ms. Fern McClarity. Ms. McClarity. Yes, I have a question. We're buying a 2023 crew cab four by four and i believe the actual vehicle is twenty thousand seven oh six then we're going to purchase a camera for four hundred fifteen thousand and i mean four hundred fifteen uh, dollars and then the total what really gets me is that we are for the color racing red uh we're going to pay almost eleven thousand dollars how about a white vehicle with a red stripe I mean, that's bound to be cheaper. And time you get through with everything, we're talking about that $20,706 truck is now $81,469.75. Can you tell me what, what the rationale is for this kind of vehicle and with this equipment and especially the color? Hot, uh, I just don't understand. Mr. Roman. Uh, yes, ma'am. I would need to look into that matter. I'm presuming that the color red is because all emergency vehicles are red, but I'll discuss it with the department and see whether we can amend that amount. That would be helpful. Thank you. Thank you. Anytime, ma'am. Item B3, discussion, consideration, and action to approve the use of ARPA relief funds for a tow vehicle, ARPA number 22-110-125, 
This vehicle will safely and efficiently transport cargo and equipment trailers with equipment, supplies, and resources to the COVID clinics and, uh, and regular clinics. Motion to approve. Second. Do we have a motion to second to approve? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Roman. Thank you. Mr. Ramadis, item 23. Good morning, Judge Commissioner Eduardo Bernardes of the Purchasing Department. To item 23A1, A, request and approval of the following change order in connection with the construction of the Hidalgo County Courthouse from the contract vendor Morganti, Texas, Inc. Change order MTI 86, installation of fire smoke dampers in the amount not to exceed 105997 and B, request an authority for county judge and or Valdeguer executive officer to sign required documents. Motion approved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23A2, a request and authority to exercise a second extension for one year term renewal under the same rates, terms, and conditions when Leinbogger, Gogan, Blair, and Samson LOP as permitted in the current contract for legal services for delinquent tax collection under contract number 18 219 1106. Motion approved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. And B, possible action to approve. Uh, I need to make a correction instead of a resolution, it's an order regarding approval for one year term renewal under the term, same rate, rates, terms and conditions with Leinbauer, Gogan, Blair, and Sampson LLP pursuant to Texas Government Code 225.41036B in order to pr provide to the public for the legal services necessary to collect delinquent property tax. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 2383, request and approval supplemental agreement number one for contract number 21-08-19-11-16 between Hidalgo County and B2Z Engineering LLC to extend the contract termination date for an additional one year to provide professional construction management services required for the pre-design phase of the Hidalgo County phase two project courthouse demolition and other services. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. 23A4A, request an authority to approve to advertise a procurement packet as attached here to, to for excess workers' compensation insurance, including the re-advertising if necessary, and B, request an action to appoint an evaluation committee to grade the proposals received for excess workers' compensation insurance. Chief David Suarez, for me. Mando Garza. Jorge County. Um, that one I'll put uh, Dr. Coberson. Isaac Sulemana. Motion to approve as presented. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carried. <coughs> 23B1A, presentation of evaluation and scoring grid for the sole response received in connection with the request for qualifications for countywide broadband access study and expansion plan consulting services under RFQ solicitation 220497-1012-ABV. The only response that we received was from Cobb, Finley, and Associates, Inc and they were averaged at a 4.7 in the evaluation process that we uh, adopted and uh, B requesting authority for purchasing department to proceed and commence negotiations with Cobb Family and Associates Inc. for broadband access study and expansion plan consulting services. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23B2A requesting exemption from competitive bidding requirements under Texas Local Government Code 262.024A7A, items for which competition is precluded because of the existence of patents, copyright, secret processes, and monopolies. And B, requesting approval of a sole source declaration for Alley Theaters production titled Oscorse, Oscorse, not too simple comeback, and acceptance of the contract with Alley Theater in the total amount of 10,999.99 for the presentation of the production for support to children from participating independent school districts who have been impacted by COVID-19 pandemic, subject to legal review. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23C1, request and approval work authorization number one with an estimated cost of 19,500, submitted by Javierino Host Engineering under, con uh, under contract uh, 21086211116 to provide engineering services required for the necessary site improvements for the Sunrise Hill Park, located in Hidalgo County Precinct number one with authority to issue a notice to proceed. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23C2, request and approval work authorization number two with an estimated cost of 584,999.66 as submitted by B2Z Engineering LLC through the Professional Engineering Services Contract 
number 21090502208 to provide engineering services required for plans, specifications, and estimate PSNE survey in the geotechnical and Hidalgo County precinct number one with authority to issue a notice to proceed. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23C 3A acceptance and approval of an interlocal cooperation agreement between the Hidalgo, with, uh, between the County of Hidalgo and City of Westlake for road improvement on mile 10 north, mile 6 west to FM 1015 phase 2. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And being in accordance with section 791.014 of the Texas Government Code requesting approval of a road improvement project to mile 10 north, mile 6 west to FM 1015. So move. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23C4, request and approval payment application number 27, the amount of 180821.83 for the precinct one mile six west, mile nine north mile, through mile 11 project submitted by contractor to support your construction LLC as reviewed by project engineer, Saints Engineering. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And 23C5, request and approval change order number seven, the detail in this document here too, for Texas Cordia Construction LLC under contract number 19274-0407, as recommended by the Project Engineer Saints Inc. in connection with the Mile 6 West Road Project. So move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23D1, requesting exemption from competitive bidding requirements under Texas Local Government Code 262.024810. Any work performed under contract for community and economic development made by county under section 381.004 community economic development programs and be authority to approve the 2022 service agreement between Hidalgo County and the Boys and Girls Club of FAR to administer the Hidalgo County Arts Program. Motion approved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23D2, acceptance and approval work authorization number two with an estimated cost of 1,149,959.60 as submitted by the project engineer B2Z Engineering LLC under contract number 21094402208 to provide surveying, geotechnical plan specifications and estimates PSE for the precinct two recreational trails connectivity project. Motion approved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23E1, a request and approval final negotiated professional surveying services agreement with Thames and contract number 22058611115 in connection with the various park improvement projects and B, pursuant to Commissioner's Court approved professional survey service agreement with Thames and request and approval work authorization number one in the amount of 18640 for the various park improvement projects. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23E2, request and approval work authorization number one in the amount of 9,489.20 as submitted by Project Engineer Millennium Engineers Group A to provide geotechnical engineering services through Precinct 3 ONCA contract number 22060310.04 for the Schubach Health Clinic Forensic Investigation. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23E. Three, request and approval to complete and submit a credit application as required by vendor GALS for the purpose of setting up an account to procure uniforms and medical supplies with authority for county judge or executive officer to sign credit application. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Twenty three F one request and approval change order number one as recommended by project architect to increase for an additional forty five days in connection to agreement contract number twenty one two two eight zero two eleven with RG Enterprises LLC DBA GMG contractors for ongoing project construction of All Star Park in precinct number four subject to compliance with form twelve ninety five. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23 F 2 A requesting exemption from competitive bidding requirements under Texas Local Government Code 262.024 A4 a professional service. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And B presentation of scoring grid for the purpose of ranking by the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court of Firm Grade through the county's pool of pre-qualified professional engineering services for precinct number four for the MGM ranches phase one and three straight light. And I need to make a correction instead of a program, it's a project. The following are the, the rankings 
RO Engineering PLOC came in at 290, and KCI Technologies came in at 284, and Las Camarena LLC DBA Fulcrum Consulting Services came in at 273. Does the court wish to reckon the order presented? Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And C, requesting authority for the Ottawa County Purchasing Department to negotiate a professional engineering service agreement commencing with the number one firm of RO Engineering PLC for Precinct 4 and VM Ranches Phase 1 and 3 Street Life Program. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23F3A, request and approval of professional construction material testing services final negotiated agreement under contract number 22060811115 with Rava Kessner Consultants Inc. For construction material testing for Zalo County, precinct number four, Encore Ranches Stormwater Project, subject to submission of appropriate documents, and be pursuant to Commissioner's Court approval of professional construction material testing service agreement with Rava Kisner Consultants Inc. requesting approval of work authorization number one in the amount of 10989 to provide construction material testing for Zalo County, precinct four, Encore Ranches Stormwater Project. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23F4, request and approval of the following change order number two as detailed in this document for the 5125 company under contract number 22027207712 as recommended by the project engineer, Izalo County Drainage District number one. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23F5, request and approval of change order number two as detailed in this document here too for the levy company LLC under contract number 21068610192 as recommended by project manager GDJ Engineering <coughs> LLC in connection with the Flashing Beacons project. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23F6, request and approval change order number three as detailed in this document here too for the Levy Company LLC under contract number 21068610019 as recommended by the project manager GDJ Engineering LLC in connection with the Flashing Beacons project. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23F7, request and approval per to purchase four 2024 Freightliner chests and four dump truck bodies through Yellow County membership participation with Bybor Cooperative Contract Number 601-19, awarded vendor Doggett Freightliner of South Texas LLC in the total amount of 573482.28 with authority of the county judge to sign any and all required documentation. Motion approved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23G1, request and approval to pay the following invoice for, his, for professional engineering and surveying services submitted by Sames Engineering and Surveying Inc. for the Biosafety Laboratory Facility. Work authorization number two, uh, num invoice number five for the amount of $322.72. So moved. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23H1, request and approval work authorization number one with an estimated cost of 1435 submitted by same thing. So the on-call professional surveying services agreement, contract number 21054-1228, to provide surveying services for the Elections County Clerk's Department sewer project located in the Yalu County Precinct number four with authority to issue a notice to proceed. Motion approved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23I1, request and approval to renew the Elections Department annual software licenses and support with Heart, Heart InterCivic Inc. through sole source declaration dated 11 2017 AI62615 in the amount of 291339 for the year 2023. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23J1, requested approval work authorization number one with an estimated cost of 205000 as submitted by half Associates Inc. through the precinct four on-call engineering service agreement under contract number 21052228 to provide engineering services for the lease Willisie County Detention Facility Project with authority to issue an order to proceed. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23J2A, request an authority to ratify purchase order number 855566 dated 10 27 2022 and be requesting approval for the purchase of the wireless surveillance system purchased through Hidalgo County membership with GSA purchasing cooperative contract number GS 07F031DA awarded vendor wireless CCTV LLC in the amount of 110,290.18. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 
23J3 request and approach to purchase a 34 yard capacity trash compactor through Hidalgo County membership with Omnia Partners Cooperative Contract number 192163, awarded vendor WW Granger Inc. in the amount of 62,085.10. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 23K1A presentation for discussion, consideration of waiver county insurance limits. B, request and approval to accept the insurance limits as offered by two uh, Dr. Anthony for physician services provided to juveniles at the Juvenile Justice Center detention facility under contract number 2395-1217. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And Judge Commissioners, for the record, that was uh, the motion uh, was, uh, was for A and B. K1. A, yeah, K one A and K one B. Twenty three zero one pursuant to the termination clause in each agreement, requesting authority to terminate countywide fire alarm and security monitoring agreements as attached here to to begin the implementation of the uniform countywide contract number twenty two zero four zero two zero nine twenty with Triple R Fire and Safety LLC for the affirmation services previously approved. On 9 2022 under AI 87378. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Eduardo. Yes. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Commissioners. Closed session, or you want to take it? Yeah, uh, closed session, Judge. Okay. Pursuant to Chapter 551 of the Texas Government Code, we'll be retiring to closed session to discuss items under sections 551.0. 71, 0 0.072, 0 0.074, and 0 0.087. Any, any action items to be taken will be taken in open court when we return. I have a motion to do so. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. It's 1138. Okay, we're back from closed session. It's uh, 1218. We do have some action items. Thank you, Judge Commissioners. Uh, under open session 28A, real estate acquisition appropriation for same. There's no specific action to be taken today. 28B, pending and or potential litigation, no specific action to be taken. 28C, discussion, consideration of possible action regarding response public health emergency. Judge Commissioners, there has been some prior action taken on the agenda. 28D, deliberation regarding the following economic development negotiations pursuant to Chapter 551, Texas Government Code, Section 551.087, Project Square. Judge Commissioner will proceed as directed as discussed in executive session. 28E, cause number C, 2763-19-F, Maria Taylor versus Hidalgo County. Judge Commissioners will proceed as directed as discussed in, in executive session. 28F, claim of Sylvia Castillo. Judge Commissioners, I'd like settlement authority to make an offer in the amount of $120. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 28G, claim of Enrique Medrano, Jr. Judge Commissioners, I would like Settlement Authority to make an offer in the amount of $220. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Judge Commissioners, for the record, item 27A and 27B, there will be no action taken today. If Judge Commissioners, with your permission, I'd like to go back to item 25. Discussion, consideration, and possible, or I'm sorry, uh, let me go back uh, to item 24. 24 under executive office. Um, as I stated earlier, no action on 24A, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, 24B, Judge Commissioners, uh, I need a motion to acknowledge receipt of the action taken by the Head Start Policy Council at their meeting of November the 1st of 2022 regarding the appointment of the Head Start Executive Director. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item 24C, discussion, consideration, and action on Second Amendment to Memorandum of, Memorandum of Understanding between County of Hidalgo and Lower Rio Grande Valley Development Council by and through Valley Metro for, for the uh, bus shuttle services. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 24D, approval to accept the settlement check from State Farm Insurance Company in the amount of $282.55 to settle an auto accident claim with one of our county vehicles. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. And item 25, discussion, consideration, and possible action regarding a county response to disaster health emergency, one American Rescue 
Plan Act uh, funds, uh, the acronym of ARPA. There's no specific, there's no action to be taken under this agenda item. 25B measures, measures necessary to preserve public health and safety. As I stated earlier, there was some prior action taken on the agenda from other departments. 25C, discussion regarding county government operations, including but not limited to essential functions. Judge commissioners, we continue to follow CDC recommended guidelines uh, and work with facilities management to address any and all concerns regarding uh, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic uh, and or uh, currently uh, the, uh, our flu season. Uh, again, the health and safety of our residents doing business at the County of Hidalgo is first and foremost, as is the employees who provide that valuable service. Judge Commissioners, um, as I said, for the record, if I may, we'll go to item 29. There's no need to go back to closed session, no action. Item 30, open session, will be a no action as well. Before we adjourn, Judge Commissioners, our next Commissioner's Court session will be on November 29th. That is Tuesday, and that will be an afternoon meeting, drainage district at 1.30 p.m., and our commissioner's court session will be at 2 p.m. We do have adjournment. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes. I have a motion, motion to, adjourn. to adjourn. Second. We have a motion and a second to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. We are adjourned. Happy Thanksgiving Thank to everyone. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone.